Our Verify team tonight is tackling online health claims many of you are seeing right now. This as some are turning to raw milk, which has seen sales going up. Yeah, folks say they're hoping to eat and drink less processed foods, and they're wondering if the risks really do outweigh the potential benefits. Here's WCNC Charlotte and Megan Bragg to verify. According to Nielsen IQ, a marketing research firm, raw milk sales rose 20% in the beginning of May. And there seems to be a lot of chatter on social media with posts like these saying that raw milk is better for you to drink. So are these claims true? Let's verify. Our sources, Dr. Carla Robinson, the FDA, and a study published in the National Library of Medicine. The milkman days are gone. Now to get milk, we go to the store and see several different shelves of milk. But more and more consumers are going raw. So what's the big deal? In the 50s, the milkman dropped off raw milk, right? Not necessarily. According to the FDA, in 1924, the standard milk ordinance came into play, which significantly reduced the risk of foodborne illnesses in dairy by pasteurizing milk. We are heating up the milk, so to speak, um, to a temperature that kills off a lot of the common foodborne uh, germs that cause illness. Several states like North Carolina made it illegal to sell raw milk for consumers to drink. Meanwhile, in South Carolina, it is legal for a person to visit a dairy farm and purchase raw milk. So are there benefits to drinking raw milk? We do know that through the pasteurization process, a lot of bacteria are killed off. And we do know that the body has good bacteria and bad bacteria. And so, um, you know, the thought is that perhaps there are some probiotics. Dr. Robinson says the risks of getting sick heavily outweigh the potential benefits. Raw milk in its state with all of the natural kind of uh, bacteria that may be found in uh, a cow's um, digestive system can, in fact, cause illnesses. In a study published in the National Library of Medicine, they looked at illnesses due to raw milk. From 1993 to 2006, when looking at 121 different milk product illness outbreaks, 60 percent involved raw milk products, which resulted in 202 hospitals hospitalizations and two deaths. 75 percent of those outbreaks occurred in the 21 states that allowed the sale of raw milk. So we can verify that, yes, the risks of foodborne illnesses when drinking raw milk can outweigh the potential benefits. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg.